those who would protest the inclusion of converts on a Jewish court for overseeing conversions tend to use the following law for disqualifying a convert for overseeing conversions. That law is Hilchot Sanedrin, chapter 2, the 12th law. This law prohibits a convert, a ger, from being included on a Jewish court of three. But is this a reasonable conclusion given the context of this law? Considering the context of this halacha, the following facts become apparent. Hilchot Sanedrin, the second chapter of the 12th law, refers to a Jewish court appointed not for conversions, but for litigation between litigants. The members of the same court mentioned in this halacha are also required to have semicha in chapter 4, the first law. So applying Hilchot Sanedrin chapter 2's disqualification of a convert from being on a court for litigation to modern conversions would equally disqualify modern conversions done by three born Jews because no one today has valid semicha of the type required by Talmudic law. In fact, such a misapplication of this law would invalidate all modern Jewish courts, whether for conversions or not, because semicha of this sort simply no longer exists. Rather, when it says in Hilchot Yisraeli that even a conversion done in the presence of three non tour scholars, idiototh, that this is also a valid conversion, we are therefore informed that the laws that apply to a regular Jewish court mentioned in Hilchot Sanedrin do not apply in their entirety to the three who oversee a conversion. What I want to do in the continuation of this video is to examine this law in further detail. The actual wording of the law that is misused to prohibit a convert from overseeing conversions is as follows. Bedin a court of three individuals in which one of them was a convert is invalid unless his mother is an Israelite. This sounds convincing enough, but let's read the halakha further, not twisting it out of context. A court of three individuals in which one of them is a convert is invalid unless his mother was an Israelite. If one of them, or even all three of them, were mamzerim, they are qualified to litigate. Hare eluk sherin ladun. Hilchot Sanedrin, chapter 2, the 12th law, is referring to a court which litigates. In fact, from the very first halacha of chapter 2, the context is litigation. And again, we see litigation emphasized in the fourth halacha. Conversion is not litigation. That's why a conversion is valid, even after the fact, even if the three who oversaw the conversion did not investigate the motives of the one converting, and even if he is known to have converted for some ulterior motive, after the fact, such a conversion is valid, even if it was for marriage. Also, as already explained, this is why a conversion that was done under the overseeing of three hidiototh, three non tour scholars, is still a valid conversion. Obviously, this is assuming that the minimal requirements for a kosher conversion were fulfilled. But if certain other standards for conversion were not fulfilled, such as informing the potential convert about the commandments, or that the three be Dayanim, Jewish judges, or very learned individuals, the conversion is still valid. It states in Hilchot chapter 13, the 14th law, When someone converts without his intentions being investigated, or if they didn't inform him regarding the commandments and their punishments, and he was circumcised and immersed in the presence of three hidiototh, three ordinary individuals, his conversion is valid. The essential thing is that there are valid witnesses, which is why it says in Hilchot Yisore Bi'ah, chapter 13, the fourth law, that if he came and said, I converted in the court of so-and-so, and they immersed me, he is not believed so as to permit him to marry into the community until he brings witnesses. Now, if someone wants to imagine that conversion is the same as the litigation referred to in the context of the second chapter of Hilchot Sanadrin, then consistency would demand that a conversion done in the presence of only one individual would, from the Torah, be also a valid conversion. For Hilchot Sanadrin chapter 2, the 13th law says, even though a court cannot be less than three, it is permitted for an individual to litigate alone. But the sages instituted that litigation should not be done with less than three. 
and that litigation of two who litigated together would not be regarded as litigation. The 15th halacha of this chapter makes it abundantly clear what this chapter means in reference to litigation, that it is between someone who brings a charge against another individual. The 15th halacha states, a person can litigate for himself if he has the ability. If he litigates according to the law, according to halacha, he is not obligated to go out of his way to bring someone to court. Therefore, if the other litigant lodged a complaint against him and brought him to court, and so forth, clearly it is not about conversions. As we already said, if this law's prohibition of a convert sitting on a court in litigation of Israelites also prohibits converts from overseeing a conversion, then for the sake of consistency, we must also conclude that the requirement of Ilchot in chapter 4, that a court of three must have smicha, is also required for the three who oversee a conversion. But when it says in Ilchot that a conversion done under three hadiotot is a valid conversion, this informs us that the laws that apply to the courts referred to in Ilchot do not apply in their entirety to the three who oversee a conversion. In Chosen Adrin chapter 4, the first law states, Whether for the great Sanhedrin, a Sanhedrin of 23, or even a court of three, all the members of a court must have smicha stemming from Moshe Rabbeinu. So, is the same one who rejects the validity of a conversion that was overseen by a convert going to likewise reject all other conversions done by everyone else in modern times, since no one today has the historical smicha that stems from Moshe? And if someone wants to equate conversion of a non-Jew with litigation, then let's point out the obvious fact that this litigation concerns someone who's not even an Israelite. If halakha allows non-Israelites to set up courts over non-Israelites, then certainly one who became Jewish can also oversee non-Israelites in litigation. And as we see in Hilchot Melachim, chapter 10, the 14th law, that courts established over non-Jews can consist either of non-Jews or of Jews. What law is there to indicate to the contrary? To the contrary, Hilchot Sanhedrin, chapter 11, the 12th law, clearly informs us that converts can sit in courts over converts and obviously also over non-Jews, thus informing us that the law which is misused from chapter 2 only restricts a convert from sitting on a court overseeing a native-born Israelite, but a conversion is not overseeing a native-born Israelite. In Chutz Nedrin chapter 11, the 12th law states, And a convert can sit in judgment over a fellow convert, even though his mother is not from the lineage of Israel. For more Torah resources, please visit dordea.com.